Good morning, everyone. So I wanted to tell you a story that happened yesterday. So yesterday was Sunday, um, the night before we had gotten home late from the kids' rodeo. And I woke up early the next, like I had milked everyone late on Saturday night. The next morning I woke up, I was milking everyone. It was like 6.30 and I noticed that one of my sheep that were, was due to lamb had discharge and blood coming out of her. And so I thought, oh my gosh, she's in labor. So I put her in the pen, milked everyone, and then put her in the pen afterwards. And then was looking at her and I realized, um, that she had already lambed. Like she, her stomach was sunken in. You tell that her milk had come in. And so it had been in the middle of the night because I had seen her the night before late. So I'm like, she had her, she had the lamb in the middle of the night, but there was no lamb anywhere to be seen. And um, so I let her out of the pen, hoping that she would go to the baby, but she didn't. She stood right by the fence. I let her out, but she stood right by the fence. And so I'm like, okay, we gotta find a lamb. Maybe it's, maybe it was a stillborn, maybe it had died in the night. Like I still gotta find it. And the grass in our front pasture where they are is very tall and it's almost to my waist right now. And so we just started trumping through the pasture. I got a couple of the kids to help me. And we looked and looked, but like we couldn't find anything. And the mom like wasn't, she was just standing right by the fence, not moving. And so at this point, it was time to go to church. We'd looked for a few hours. I was feeling like pretty discouraged. And um, so anyways, we went to church. We came back. We had lunch. We, um, I came out here and she was, mama was really engorged. She was standing in the same spot by the, the fence, by, by the gate. And so I put her in the stanchion, I gave her some grain. I gave her some grain and I milked her out. And she did great, she was, she, she did great. But I was so sad, I was like, dang it, I really want to find this lamb. And the, the mama lamb, like the mama is black and the ram that I have is like black, black. And so I was like, okay boys, I recruited the boys. I'm like, all of us, we need to find where she birthed, just so I can have some closure. It's probably dead. It could have been a stillborn. It could have been gone because now at this point it was like evening time. And so I'm like, we just need to find it. And so we were just tromping through the pasture, no luck. And you know, mama wasn't giving us any signs where she had lamb. She was standing by the gate still. And so I just, I said a prayer. I, I was like, like God, like help me find where she birthed. Like I want to find this little lamb. And you know, I Lois was listening to me pray, and I said, and if there's any possibility, like help the lamb st <laughs> still be alive. But like it was a reach. Like I had zero faith that this lamb was going to be alive at this point because like it had been all day or longer. Um, Mama hadn't nursed it at all. Anyways, so I started walking. I was standing by the mother who was kind of by the end of the pasture by the gate. And this thought came into my head like very clearly, like go across the road and into the other pasture. And so I opened the gate and I started walking into the other pasture and I looked into the, the water troughs because I was like, maybe the lamb fell into the water troughs and drowned. Looked in all the water troughs, like no lamb. Um, but I was picturing like a black lamb, and so I was like, could be in the mud. Like I just, anyways, I just kept walking, and I kind of given up hope. But I just kept walking in this pasture, like further and further away oh, from mom. You, buddy. And I hear hey, this fun. tiny little bat. Yeah. And I was like, could that be? And so I kept walking and I heard it again. I said, Lois. And at this point, Lois was like, mom, why are you we in here? We got to find the lamb. Let's go back to the other pasture, you know? And I was like, Lois, I think we're supposed to be in here. I'm like, Lois, can you hear that? And so we started running as fast as we could towards this little bat that we're hearing. And we found the lamb. It was this perfect all white lamb. And she was beautiful. Just 
just hopping around, but she was so far away from her mother in a completely different pasture, across the road, across the fence. She had cro she'd crossed under two fences. Um, and anyways, we found her and she was perfectly healthy. And it was just this overwhelming feeling that God cared about that one lamb. I don't know why I'm crying, but it was such a sweet, tender mercy that God knew exactly where it was and that it was important. And so we got the little lamb and it had been so many hours and I knew it had never nursed, um, but we got it back to his mother and it nursed and it's totally healthy and happy. And it was such a miracle. And anyways, I wanted to share that with you. Such a fun, happy day on the farm. Just full of God's miracles and and beauty. So anyways, I wanted to share that. I love you all. And I hope you have a wonderful week. You say hi, little lady. Well, she didn't get